Greetings from ThemeRex team. Today we will talk about the major update of Query theme, Query 2.0. Query is one of the best sellers on ThemeForest. When you open the demo, you are headed to the presentation page. People love this theme for more than a hundred pre-made demos, thousands of elements, pre-made pages, portfolio layouts, and blog designs. And now, starting with Query 2.0, it received a powerful e-commerce module. So let's go ahead and explore what's in this pack. The largest modules of this update are product filters, custom attributes, single product styles, and lookbook. So let's check them out. These GIFs will give you a better idea of these modules. The first important module is an advanced Ajax product filter. It allows filtering your products without reloading your page. Let's click on this example and see how it works. So we have some products on the right and filters on the left. We can filter by categories, colors, sizes, brands, prices and rating. Let's filter by just a white color and Buxton Studio brand. And as you can see, we have our results without reloading the page. And we can keep using our filter system and choose the required values. The next module is custom product attributes. We already saw some of them. You can add product brands, colors, sizes, image attributes, and add your custom attributes. Then your site visitors will be able to search and filter through them. The next module is new product styles. Query 2.0 offers three new product styles, minimal, modern, and hover style. The first one obviously comes with a minimalistic design. The modern one shows much more info, quick view, select product options, color swatches, rating, price, etc. And the hover style shows the default look, but when you hover over it, you'll see more options appear. Okay, let's move on to the next feature, which is a product quick view. It allows previewing the product before visiting its page. Let's see how it works. When you click on the quick view icon, you get a preview of the product. You have a title, price, rating, and color switchers. You can buy it, add it to your wish list, or use the category or tag links. It's an extremely demanded feature, especially for large sites. The next feature is new single product page styles. You can add lots of the details like payment icons, shipping info and custom tabs. Also we have pre-made product detail styles like tabs, accordion and stacked. Let's open the tabs style. By the way, this slider on the top is another awesome feature in Query 2.0. As we can see, the page is nicely designed and we have everything we need, different product options, payments and delivery info. The product details are placed in the tabs here. In the accordion style, we have the product description and product details placed inside the accordion tabs. And in the stacked product styles, we have item descriptions, ratings and reviews placed open within the page. Now let's check available product gallery designs. Here we have default, full width, cascade and grid layouts. The default one has a quite familiar look. The full width has thumbnails on the left and the main light box in the middle. It changes when you switch between the options. Cascade Gallery shows images one after another. And the last style shows images in a grid. If you click on one of the images, it opens in a slider. You can view all images, zoom in and zoom out, enable and disable a full screen mode, and of course close the slider. Another awesome feature is a product lookbook. 
It allows adding hotspots to your images and connecting them with your WooCommerce products. On this page we can see examples of products within the interior. When you click on the hotspot you will see the product. After that you can check the products page. You can see that it looks really nice in different photos. Moreover, this feature is responsive. If you open the page on your cell phone or a tablet, even though the photo becomes smaller, the hotspot will still be in the right place. Query 2.0 also includes lots of other features like sticky headers, the library of pre-made elements, and of course brand new demos. Hope this video was helpful, please subscribe for more useful tutorials.